y'all welcome back to the channel i'm marquee marie if this is your first time here i appreciate you for stopping by give me a second i'm getting this camera together okay so this video is about instacart um i've been posting a few videos about instacart here and there telling you guys what's been going on and i appreciate the feedback that y'all have been giving me um, it's it's really been positive so far, you know, with just discussing what's happening, what alternative options we have to doing other than Instacart. Um, I do not solely rely on Instacart as my full full amount of income. I'm not full time. I'm not part time. Well, I would say I'm part time. Um, yesterday I did uh, three batches, which was. I think two four five i probably did like six houses yesterday and um 68 dollars was the total that i made i looked this morning and i noticed that one of the customers completely wiped my tip off altogether and so i just want to talk to y'all for a quick second about what is occurring out here not just with instacart but in general i think that some people are completely and when i say completely i mean a hundred percent oblivious to what is going on out here with the panorama with food with shortages with everything pertaining to grocery shopping in general like you guys are trying a lot of these tiktok trends you know tiktok made me buy it type situations with starbucks coffee creamer starbucks cold coffee a, a lot of you guys use the same products i've noticed that from shopping with instacart when i go grocery shopping i do not shop like any of you guys i spend 85 percent of my groceries come directly from the produce section fruits vegetables i go over to the cracker aisle i get pecan crackers butternut squash crackers you know like vegan crackers and stuff like that water um that's it and then i leave but i've noticed that shopping for other people in the grocery stores we all don't eat the same a lot of people buy a lot of processed foods um, a lot of pre-made pre-packaged foods a lot of frozen foods and I didn't learn that about other people on how they shop until I started shopping for Instacart okay so now that I, I have said that and got that out the way this is the point we are at a shortage. Houston is doing good. You know, we look good when you go in the store. We like, wow, we got all our produce. But if you guys watch other things that's going on out here, you can clearly see people posting TikTok videos, people on Facebook, people talking about that some of the shelves at different places are empty, okay? So yesterday, this lady wanted me to get some frozen asparagus. They did not have the HEB brand. They didn't have any brand. I asked someone in the store and they said no that that it hadn't come in so um, you got an unresponsive customer here that doesn't respond to anything that you you send them like hey this is out do you have any other vegetables that you would like for me to get you no response to that you know no communication whatsoever so I noticed that today this lady is looking all in my car mind your business I noticed that when I went back on to see my tips today that she completely wiped out my whole tip now I took an order yesterday um, with two batches which is two houses shopping for two houses at one time it only paid twelve dollars and eighty something cents and I told you guys in the last video that I try not to take a house under 20 bucks but the more stuff the, the higher the pay the more stuff you're going to have to carry the more you're going to have to deal with so one person had like 15 items the other person had like eight or nine items um and they they both were houses that's important to me because i don't want to go to apartments when it's extremely hot outside 100 plus degrees um so i i took that order for 1280 something 
and that included the tip now like I told my friend I don't know if it's because it's the summer kids are out of school um, maybe college students are doing this gig I don't know why they're they're not they're no longer they were paying eight dollars base five dollars for the second house they're no longer doing that it's like you're going to the second house completely for free i'm not lying so when this lady wiped out my tip because i didn't get her asparagus i went to i did that whole house for free everything that she had it was for free it was a favor i only got paid for going to the first house and the tip from the first house like so that's what i'm saying you guys that are our customers are not following along in the app you're completely oblivious to the fact that a lot of things that you like aren't on the shelves because there are limited supply and then if i'm not the first or tenth person to get there and get it for you it's really not gonna be there everybody is eating and drinking the same things literally but when I go to the fruits and vegetables, that's overflowing. But you guys are eating and drinking some of the same things. The produce, um, no, the produce is, is available, it's plentiful. But all this other crap with all this extra flavors and sugars and, and, and additives and salts and stuff, all that stuff is running off the shelves. Everybody is wanting the same thing. And who the heck eats frozen asparagus? That's a different story. So that was that with the pay. Um, and another thing, I just thought about this randomly yesterday. I, I don't think I will order ice cream off Instacart because I had two orders and someone pointed out to me, nothing happened, but someone pointed out to me, like, you know, Instacart doesn't want the customers to know that you're taking multiple orders when you're taking their order. And so two people ordered ice cream yesterday and i was like oh my goodness i hope i get to one person's house before this ice cream starts to soften because one was one way and the other one and i'm not lying i drove 12 miles opposite direction to take the second person their order and it had ice cream too they both had ice cream so just as a tip, I wouldn't necessarily order any ice cream off Instacart because you don't know how, how far that person is going, coming to take you your order. You don't know if they're going to another person or what. But um, I'm another thing that me and my friends have been talking about, I don't even know why it's an option not to tip on Instacart. I see so many orders where people are just not tipping at all. Um, you know, I'm talking about 100 items, something units, you know, 200 units, no tip whatsoever. That should not even be possible. Instacart should be ashamed of themselves for even allowing that to happen. They also should be ashamed for not uh, paying for the second and third house on some of these orders. So that's it, you guys. Um, yesterday, like I said, I, I did the most that I've done in in a day yesterday so that's about it i appreciate y'all for tuning in um some of you guys have left me messages here and said um try shipped try uh something else and something else i just wanted to let you guys know that shipped is on a waiting list right now uh for houston i just cannot remember i could have swore i signed up for shipped like a year ago and I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what email I used, but this evening I am going to sit down and go through some things. You guys, my internet has been out for like four days now. The lightning struck the power lines. I can't get any of my videos out for this channel or the next channel. So I'm going to see if it's possible for me to do it now um, using this phone that I got my phone went out to. So a lot was going on techn technologically speaking, but um yeah so i'm gonna work on that i just don't know what happened to my ship to cow i thought i had one but something has to give with these little gigs because it's it's a little off right now i don't know if it's gonna pick back up due to this new situation we got going on out here 
but um i will definitely keep you guys updated i'm gonna look at the website and i'm also going to send instacart a message too and get some more information on this situation so i appreciate y'all peace and blessings peace